I think when looking at uh, investment in workplace, you really have to put the employee first and keep it in mind not of just the cost of the workplace, but the overall, um, your cost center as a whole, as a company. And so when you compare the cost of real estate and your total cost of ownership to your labor cost, uh, it's really 10 to 1. You're going to spend a lot more on your, your salaries and your benefits and all, everything, your fringe on your, to your employees than you are in real estate. And when you consider real estate as a tool for talent attraction and retention, um, it, it really um, you know, pales in comparison from a cost standpoint. So it's really talking to your C-suite, um, you know, making sure they understand that the upfront cost, the capital to build um, an impressive office is steep. However, if, if it means retaining more of your top talent for more years, it pays for itself very quickly. I think um, flexible office is here to stay. Um, companies like WeWork and, and many, many others, Notel, Convene, others, um, will definitely um, continue to grow. I think their uh, business model for enterprise clients such as ourselves is going to evolve and um, take a different deal structures also um, really uh, catering to um, more customization that's really key um, because as we tailor this experience for our employees it's important that they feel the same experience in a flexible co-working office space as they would a corporate office um, so i think that um, those flexible office providers are going to have to constantly evolve what they provide enterprise clients When looking at a new office, our first, the first thing we do is look at public trans transportation, which may seem counterintuitive uh, for a company that's predominantly ride-sharing focused. However, um, uh, public transportation is really how people will get to work in an urban um, environment. So we always want to be located um, within walking distance of a major uh, subway hub, uh, light rail transit, something along those lines. Further, we also take a look at anonymized zip code data um, to figure out where our workforce is today and make sure, I think everyone's had an experience that's in real estate with one executive saying, hey, I want to be over in this suburb, and then you look at their address like, oh, well, you happen to be a mile away. We want to look at every employee in that market and make sure that we kind of hit you know, the 80th percentile and make sure we're not making it more difficult for employees to come in and be engaged in the workplace. I think there's just a lot of history there. Uh, we've been there going on five years, which in Uber time is forever uh, for a company that's a, less than a decade old. Um, so before that, we were in a very rundown uh, location in Long Island City, uh, infested with rats. It was part office, part green light hub where we service our, our driver partners. Um, and to, to move to um, you know, the terminal stores building in Chelsea was a big deal um, back in 2015 when we moved in. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're preparing to close that chapter and, and move all of our workforce uh, downtown later in 2020, but I think the coolest part is, is the history and then also just the aesthetic of the building, um, being all the exposed brick and the original timber beams um, makes for a very unique, cool aesthetic. It, it all has to do with conference space because I think there's never enough of it um, for a myriad of reasons. One thing people book a conference room for an infinite number of iterations of a meeting and, and rarely check in. So it's having that the technology to make sure people get booted from the room if they, if they don't check in. Um, it's also a one person using a 10 person room under utilization. Um, and lastly, sound attenuation. So when you have a high density of conference rooms back to back to back, making sure you can't hear your neighbor's um, meeting is very key. So, making sure you work with the architect and the general contractor to ensure um, good sound attenuation between rooms is key. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed the, um, the mix of attendees. I, I've been um, to several um, different sh uh, conferences similar to this, but I find uh, future offices has a lot more end users, which is excellent. I think that's something that uh, Kevin and the team strive for, which I, is very noticeable to me. Um, and I've just had some great conversations just in the hallway uh, with a lot of um, unique, uh, talented individuals.